Uh, we got our next speaker coming up here. We got Stephen Ward with Vi Finance. He's been in finance for eight years, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what he does here. Come on, guys, give him a warm welcome. Thank you so much. Hello, everybody. My name is Stephen. I'm the CEO of Vi Finance, and I've been in crypto now for too long. <laughs> um, we'll start with a little bit of my background. So I was a bonds trader where I worked in trading Australian, American, and British bonds for quite a few years. And from there, I went into financial advisory, where I was assisting people entering retirement with building income streams using bond-denominated products and derivatives. Uh, from there, I started really getting into crypto in 2017, uh, where I began trading. And in 2019, I started using decentralized finance, or DeFi. And through my experience with using DeFi, I started seeing a lot of, I guess, inefficiencies within the existing systems. And we wanted to use Cardano and use the technologies that are presented to us on this blockchain to build something better, a better DEX, which gives traders better tools and allows them to do more unique management options for their portfolio. So let's start at the very top, just for those that don't know, what is a DEX and why is a DEX important on the blockchain? Simply put, a DEX is a decentralized exchange. Oh, started moving. A decentralized exchange is simply a smart contract that allows users, the general public, to trade backwards and forwards between different tokens natively on the blockchain. So this means that these tokens aren't being traded through any centralized party. What makes trading on the blockchain different is that unlike a bank, we don't have access to liquidity. Liquidity has to be garnered from the blockchain itself, from the users and the people that engage with the products. So what we do is we provide a reward for users who are willing to lock their tokens into the smart contracts to provide utility to the blockchain itself. In the case of Wi-Fi, we provide that reward in the form of Wi-Fi, MinSwap in the form of Min, Milk in the form of Milk, you know, and so forth. Now, this is a really important function on any blockchain for garnering liquidity for projects and also for user engagement in creating income streams that exist natively on chain. When we take, and let's start with the first one there, when we have new projects launching on chain, one of the biggest issues they face is being able to garner funds to be able to build what it is they need to build, and to be able to garner liquidity, which is essentially just money, on their token. And DEXs provide a solution for this. And secondly, when we have users that are engaging with a blockchain, one of the biggest motivators for anyone to engage with a blockchain is the possibility to earn income, to earn a profit. And DEXs allow you to take on what's called impermanent risk in exchange for earning an income natively on chain using your assets. Now, there's many ways that we can implement Cardano to create something different to what we're used to in the DEX world. So some unique tools that we've been able to implement on Wi-Fi, and we plan to be expanding on these, are stakeless LP farming which we'll, of course, talk about. Layer 2 liquidity, which is a consequence that comes out of stakeless LP farming and really gives a new method to manage your risk when dealing with liquidity. Simplified engagement. The tools on Cardano and the way that the Cardano blockchain is designed allows us to create more simplified engagement paths for new users that aren't accustomed to using blockchain technology and aren't used to engaging with these more complex systems on chain. And last but certainly not least, liquidity aggregation, which is going to be the next focus of Wi-Fi moving into our final stages of build, not final, sorry, the next stages of building our product um, and helping users to simply engage with liquidity by abstracting the process even further from requiring users to hold multiple tokens at once. And we'll go into that soon. So let's begin with stakeless LP farming. And I think we should start with a bit of a story. When I first began 
dealing with DEXs. You've got a bit of a process that you have to go through to understand how farming is working. And if anyone here has gone through that educational process, you know how difficult it is. But first and foremost, you need to find what tokens you want to engage with. Once you've found the tokens that you want to engage with, you need to take both of those tokens and put them into a liquidity pool. In return, you're going to get a liquidity pool token. That's like a stock. It represents your ownership of the share that's held inside that smart contract. Then you take your liquidity pool token, you need to go spend money, you need to put it inside a farm, and then you lose access to liquidity pool tokens as it goes into a farm to earn you an income. Now, we've got the user flow up there, but it's not super readable. Essentially, in the current user flow of farming on all DEXs in crypto, you have a three to four step process. On other blockchains, it's four. On Cardano, it's three. First, you need to collect tokens. Then, on other blockchains, you need to, sorry, then you deposit liquidity. On other blockchains, you need to approve the farm. And then on the Cardano blockchain, you don't approve it, but you can deposit it straight into the farm. And then from there, you have to manually come out and every single one of those farms which is an expense to the user as they have to pay for every set of farms that they're withdrawing. And it's also time consuming as if you're serving, providing liquidity to 10 different projects, you now have to conduct 10 transactions to be able to access your rewards. Stakeless LP farming is something that Cardano allows us to implement natively on their chain. We've all used Cardano here, I assume, I hope. And if you haven't, welcome. <laughs> what Cardano allows is stakeless farming or stakeless earnings. Just like when you're using your wallet and you stake your Cardano to a stake pool, that Cardano remains available to you in your wallet to spend. We've been able to implement that very system that exists on the chain with our LP tokens. So that when you provide liquidity, the LP tokens arrive in your wallet and they just sit in your wallet and you're automatically farming. You as a user don't have to do anything else. It's a one-step process. Provide liquidity, now you're farming. The other advantage that this provides to users is that you only have a single harvest. All of your farms, you can provide liquidity to 30 projects and we can aggregate all of those harvests into one single transaction. Which means as we offer multiple rewards, multiple token rewards on multiple farms, you can have a single harvest which gives you 30 separate tokens as a reward. And that's all aggregated into one single transaction for the user. So we've been able to use the Cardano blockchain to take the engagement process on a DEX from a three to four transaction process down to a single transaction process. That saves time, money, and most importantly, conceptual understanding of the underpinnings of what's taking place. But let's have a look at a little bit of a consequence of stakeless LP farming. Because now for the first time in crypto, liquidity pool tokens, so those stocks that represent your ownership of the liquidity pool, are no longer locked value. And let's quickly describe what I mean by locked value. If I take my liquidity pool tokens on any DEX and I deposit them into a farm to be able to receive my rewards, those liquidity pool tokens have left. They're no longer in my wallet and I no longer have access to them that value is locked in the farm so that I can receive those rewards. But a liquidity pool token isn't nothing. It isn't something that should just be thought of as something you lock away. The liquidity pool token is representative of the two underlying tokens inside the liquidity pool itself. So if you're in the Wi-Fi Cardano liquidity pool, the liquidity pool token represents a real asset. That asset is 50% Cardano, 50% Wi-Fi. Now, rather than with the current structures, locking that value into a farm to receive a reward, using the structures that we've developed with stakeless LP farming, that value is now unlocked for the users and for the projects to be able to access and use for whatever purpose they deem necessary. So we've already implemented one of these possible implementations on our decks. It's called layer two liquidity mining. And I'm gonna take this slowly because it can be a little bit inception-y if you've seen the movie, um, as we're layering things on top of each other. So a layer one liquidity pool is simply a standard 
liquidity pool structure. I put in Cardano and Wi-Fi. I have 50% of each token in the liquidity pool. I receive my LP token. I'm instantly farming because I don't need to stake it anywhere. And now I'm holding the impermanent risk of v holding Wi-Fi and Cardano. And actually, very quickly, I want to take a moment here to just describe what impermanent risk is, just in case there are any people here that don't understand that concept, because it's a little bit um, abstract. In currency trading, and banks face this as well, in currency trading, you essentially need to have a large pile of two currencies to allow people to swap between them. So if I have, I'm Australian, I'm going to use Australian dollar. If I have Australian dollar and I want to trade it for US dollar, I go to a bank and I say, hello bank, here's a 100 Australian dollar, could you please give me US dollar? They say, no worries, they add the Australian dollar to their Australian dollar pile, and then they take the US dollar off their US dollar pile and they give it to me. And then they, of course, take a little cut, they take a fee, and they take themselves their service fee, their service charge, they give you a terrible interest, a terrible exchange rate, all those things where they make money, but functionally they're giving it out of two piles of money that they have. If we're looking at a market that's moving, let's say the Australian dollar, like right now, is falling through the floor. From a market mechanics perspective, what's taking place is traders are trading in or swapping their Australian dollar and they're taking US dollar from those piles of money that the bank holds. I'll call piles of money in inverted commas, it's not actually a big Scrooge bolt. Um, and as this takes place and the Australian dollar goes down, through the function of the market, people are handing the banks more and more Australian dollar because that's them buying US dollar. So what's functionally happening? The banks are collecting more of the currency that's losing value. Australia dollar goes down, more people are giving the banks Australian dollar. Australian dollar goes up, more people are trading US dollar back for Australian dollar. That's how the market functions. This change in value or this tendency for within currency exchange to accumulate the lower value currency, or I should say, the currency that is losing value more quickly is called impermanent risk. In the context of crypto, we call it impermanent risk. So in the case of providing a layer one liquidity, where you're providing Wi-Fi and ADA into a liquidity pool, Wi-Fi and Cardano into a liquidity pool, you're now taking on the impermanent risk of the price difference between Wi-Fi and Cardano. If Wi-Fi goes up, you're going to be losing Wi-Fi and gaining more Cardano as people are buying Wi-Fi from the market. If Wi-Fi goes down, the reverse is taking place. You're losing Cardano as people are selling Wi-Fi into the liquidity pool. What this means is that you still have a price risk exposure. By entering liquidity, you have an exposed risk to the underlying value of the token that you're providing. But what's really impress or really useful about liquidity pools, sorry, is that you have approximately half the outright risk of holding the token itself. So if I held just Wi-Fi and I had my portfolio 100% Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi goes down by 50 cents, how much do I lose? 50 cents per Wi-Fi. If I've engaged with liquidity and I'm in a layer one liquidity pool and I'm 50% Cardano, 50% Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi drops by 50 cents, I've only lost about 25 cents of value in the value of my liquidity pool token. So it gives you an internal hedge. And that's the beauty of these liquidity pool structures. They allow traders to internally hedge their assets on the blockchain. Now, since we have stakeless LP farming, we can actually unlock the value in those layer one LPs that are experiencing this impermanent risk. And we can allow users to create layer two liquidity pools. And this is where you provide your layer one LP, so that LP token, which is representative of 50% Wi-Fi and 50% Cardano, and you actually match that with 50% Cardano in value. So your effective portfolio is now shifted. Rather than being 50% Wi-Fi, 50% Cardano that's experiencing impermanent risk, your portfolio is now 25% Wi-Fi, 75% Cardano, and your effective and permanent risk is <laughs> and this essentially works, the function, the way that this works, is let's say Wi-Fi goes up in value. Wi-Fi goes up in value means that in the layer one liquidity pool, people are buying Wi-Fi and putting in Cardano. That increases the value of the layer one liquidity pool token, which in turn means users are now going to be buying the layer one liquidity pool token out of 
the, liquidity, the layer two liquidity pool and depositing more ARDA, which means you got more growth in your ARDA than you would have if you had a 50-50 split in just layer one liquidity. So this is a tool that allows traders to reduce their overall impermanent risk that's experienced on their portfolios and allows you to build unique and permanent risk management structures as they provide an internal hedge on your position and on your risk portfolio. The entire aim being we want to be able to generalize this to allow users to create alpha neutral strategies where they can manually build their own N, layer N liquidity pool. So you can manually decide where do I want my impermanent risk to sit and how can I put these liquidity pools together so that I can get my own unique risk portfolio. That unique risk portfolio isn't available yet. We're still working on it. We've got six or seven uh, layer two liquidity pools currently available. Now, the other side to having layer two liquidity is that it greatly simplifies engagement for new users. And, and I have it right there. Because the liquidity pool is the actual function that allows traders to buy and sell tokens. You, you buy and sell from the liquidity pool itself. And we have a liquidity pool built from liquidity pool tokens. That means that a user can come directly to our decks and buy a liquidity pool token. You don't even need to supply liquidity to engage with liquidity anymore. You just come to the decks, say, I want to buy Art of Wi-Fi liquidity. Put Art of Wi-Fi liquidity on the bottom, 108 is worth, click the go button. Now it's going to be coming into your wallet with a single swap. That's a lot easier than providing liquidity in the classic sense on DEXs. And the best part of it is that we've got stakeless LP farming. So as soon as those LPs hit your wallet, you're instantly farming. You don't have to stake it anywhere. You don't have to do anything with your LP. You just go to the front page, swap for the LP token, instantly begin farming. You never need to think about it again. <laughs> until you want to get out, of course. And this also means that there's a second way for you to exit liquidity as a user. Rather than going to the Your Liquidity tab, as you do on every other DEX, and exiting liquidity, receiving both tokens, selling half of those tokens on the market for whichever half you want to sell, or maybe selling both halves of those tokens on the market if you're in a more obscure liquidity pool, you can actually come straight to the DEX and sell the liquidity pool token straight into the DEX, which means that as a user, you've now got a far more efficient option to exit your current liquidity positions. Rather than needing to go through a three to four step process to exit liquidity and take your profit, you can exit liquidity instantaneously through the decks in a single sale. This is something that hasn't been done before in crypto. No DEX has stakeless LP farming integrated in a way that allows users to reduce the impermanent risk on their portfolio, more simply engage with liquidity mining itself and exit their positions in a much more simplified and efficient manner, requiring less transactions, resulting in better execution. And at the end of the day, as a trader, we want to be able to optimize our execution. I don't want to have to wait 25 minutes to exit a liquidity position while things are dropping. I want to be able to press a button and exit my liquidity position. <laughs> and this leads me on to my last, um, the last part, our liquidity aggregator. <laughs> Thanks. So, We've got a lot of these unique tools that, we're, that Cardano allows us to build. And it allows us to really create simplified systems for users by uniquely implementing Cardano's technology. But what we really want to be able to do is simplify this process even further and allow users to engage with liquidity without needing to even manage the individual tokens and assets for every liquidity pool that's held by that user. And the way that we do this is to build essentially an indexed fund for liquidity pool tokens. And let's talk about what that means for a second. The image is there so you can have a look, but let's take it through step by step. If you wanted to engage with a sector on the Cardano blockchain, let's say DEX tokens, decentralized exchange tokens, you need to get what, let's say you have 10,000 Cardano you want to engage. You'll get a percentage and you'll allocate it to wing riders, a percentage allocated to MinSwap, a percentage and allocated to Milk, a percentage allocated to Wi-Fi, a percentage allocated to Sunday. Would be a simple example. You now, as the user, have to manage each of those individual positions. 
you're going to have five separate tokens whose assets price you're currently managing. And if you're engaging in liquidity mining with those five tokens, you're going to have to be managing the impermanent risk across those five tokens as well, as well as the harvesting, the trading out your harvest. Maybe you want to roll. You know, It's up to you what you want to do with your profits, of course. But all of that process is being managed manually by yourself. And as you start to compound these strategies, it becomes more and more complex for a user to be able to manage. So what we want to build, or what we are building, I should say, is a system that allows users to simply engage with liquidity mining with the deposit of Cardano into a single vault. The vaults have a strategy. For example, as I just described, the DEX strategy, where the vault would hold 25 or 20% 20 of four or five different tokens, and it'll automatically send those, that ARDA that you've provided, into liquidity against those tokens and farm it for you automatically. That farm is provided, or that yield that's generated, is given back to the user in the form of Cardano. So this means that now a user, particularly a brand new user, has been able to go from having only Cardano in their wallet to providing liquidity on four different exchanges across 12 different tokens by just engaging in two or three auto harvesters. Pick a sector that you want to engage with, press the button, and you're in. And to exit, all you need to do is take the liquidity pool tokens for the auto harvester, much like we have with our DEX, and sell those liquidity pool tokens back to the auto harvester. And that will collect you back your Cardano and any income that you've earned on the harvest or through the impermanence risk and impermanent loss or impermanent gain. So this system of liquidity aggregation is going to further simplify the mechanics for new users and people that are interested in engaging with liquidity but not necessarily wanting to manage every aspect of their portfolio on a day-to-day -day basis. It gives them an automated method to be able to index what it is that they're earning, or index, sorry, their strategies. And indexation, as I'm sure many people here who invest in traditional finance, indexation gives you better risk management, and it gives you the capacity to be able to manage your positions in a far more simplistic manner. So to recap, we're using Cardano in, and I have to go back to the first one. I should have, uh, I didn't do an end of slide. Sorry, guys. We'll go back to this slide. In, to recap, Cardano presents us with a lot of unique tools, and it presents us with unique technologies that allow us to build products and tools in a manner that's different to other blockchains. This is something that we, as creators on this chain, should be grabbing by the horns and doing as much as we can to show the power of differentiability that Cardano provides that other blockchains can't. I just want to run through a few quick other examples of ways in which stakeless LP farming can, the stakeless LPs can be implemented in the ecosystem, just to show you the real power of what it is that Cardano allows us to do. As the, stakele, as the liquidity pool tokens on our DEX are farming tokens, they're an interest-bearing asset. So if we take a platform such as uh, LenFi, a, if I got that right, it is LenFi, not LiFi. I get those two confused now. <laughs> um, since we take something like LenFi, they have collateralized lending. If you can take a liquidity pool token, which contains 50% Cardano and 50% of, let's say, LenFi token, and I can provide this as collateral to a lender, I've now provided that lender with two advantages. First of all, the outright risk on that collateral is greatly reduced. Because rather than dealing with the full risk of the outright price of holding the asset that's being collateralized, I'm only dealing with the impermanent risk between the two assets that are being supplied. So my outright risk on the collateral is reduced, allowing for lower interest rates. And because the asset itself is interest bearing, we can take this collateralization, and we can use your collateral to pay back part of the interest on the loan. Because the asset itself actually earns an income that allows for that to cover portions of your loan. This is something that would be completely unique to all of crypto, and Cardano now allows us to implement these level, this kind of tooling, which allows for self 
repaying collateralization. That doesn't exist anywhere else on Earth, let alone on other blockchains. Um, so I guess, you know, to finish, it, to finish it off, we are very fortunate in this space to be able to have such an opportunity to build these new financial tools that will really hopefully change the way in which the general public is able to, one, build themselves a nest egg, manage their nest egg, and hopefully improve their situation by implementing this technology for the world. And thank you. Claim your official proof of participation in Rare Evo 2023. Whether you attend physically or tune in on the live stream, you get a free NFT painted by Brendan O'Connell live from our Expo Hall floor, and you get whitelisted for the Rare Perks NFT presale. By claiming, you will be entered into a giveaway of multiple rewards, including the original one-of-one -one physical painting by Brendan, along with exclusive access and opportunities for Rare Evo 2024, including, but not limited to, free general admission and VIP passes, a 10x10 booth, workshop space, and more.